Conservation Commission meeting to order in town hall at seven o'clock. Um, first on the agenda will public input of non-agenda items. So that would be you three guys, non-agenda items. Would you like to speak? Sure. So I'm Andrew Ruggles, uh, 54 Century Lane in Litchfield. And this is, do they have to announce it themselves or? American to me. Whatever. All right. Todd Baker and Andrew Stevens both also from town. Um, we are, we frequently mountain bike in the Litchfield State Forest and uh, the Musquash and uh, have noticed there's a lot of trail work going on. Right. And uh, Jason has also, he uses the trails frequently. Um, his wife does as well. And uh, we we're just wondering if there's any sort of thought of putting together a trails crew um, or anything that we could do to help make the trails better, i.e. bridges, you know. There is a lot of thought about a trails crew. Um, uh, Matt's been working out there. We had a lot of muddy erosion this spring, as you probably know, on, on the one that if you come off Aldridge and take a left, go to Musquash. Yep. And we they rerouted that um, successfully. So um, take Matt's contact, and we are trying to get a, a committee together. I don't know if it would be a subcommittee or a standalone – wouldn't be standalone. It would be under the Conservation Commission. But um, definitely leave your name and phone numbers. Uh, we have a back of agenda here if you want to write those down. And um, so Matt could get in touch with you. Maybe – would it work for you guys if we had, like, one – specific day a month to work on them or how do you think that would work what would be uh, whatever i mean it, it's I all it open depends on if it's maintenance or if there's like specific upgrade you're trying you know that you know everyone's trying to accomplish if we're trying to fix like an erosion issue or you know tree issue or rerouting a trail versus well, now the, there's some issues with the state forest um evidently the state forest does not like these trails that keep popping up the state forest manager um I guess from what you said, Matt said they're going to close some of them down. Uh, so they're kind of working that out right now. So some of the trails in there they have identified as being rogue or unauthorized. Um, there is an individual or a group that is that has been putting trails in there, and they're trying to um, figure out, you know, what they're going to keep and what needs to be kind of brushed in um, and kind of keep it as is. And they want to establish, they want people to keep maintain with the process of applying to be a volunteer with the state and working with them before um, any kind of trail creation goes on. And we don't want to necessarily just, just um, build. Yeah. I got it. Oh. Take a we don't necessarily just want to go out and build trail. I like the way London Dairy's trailways has done it. They've done a pretty good job about meandering things and, and not overdoing it. Um, they've got some, you know, You've, I'm sure you've biked out there. They've got some pretty good trails. And they've got quite a few of them, so I guess they're not getting terribly eroded because they've got quite a few trails. Yeah, and one thing I noticed about the Londonderry side, and I actually talked to the NEMBA, which is New England Mountain Biking Association there. They were, I guess they had a member that was on the Londonderry Committee for years, and they went through and they actually built some bridges so they weren't crossing wetlands and you know it's just yeah. a little more environmentally friendly that way yeah, you're not yeah. thrashing through wetlands and stuff like that yeah we don't we don't want to be thrashing no through it, 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 no exactly see it goes for hikers bikers right. you know anything right so um I'd, I'd be really happy to have the help um still got a few things i'm working on uh for the most part that section of trail that connects the state forest to musquash uh, i need to fix a reroute there this weekend because it's like when you're coming down from londonderry down the hill there's kind of a sharp left and i got feedback that that was kind of for people that want to go downhill that's a little rough for them to kind of have to slam on the brakes and i'm seeing a lot it looks like people are kind of drift around that corner so if you're around this week there's a big rock right there too yeah yeah I, i've seen that so i i'd like to get out there and fix it um but i'll welcome the help so please leave your um your um, names and phone numbers so we know where to get hold of jason uh i had a comment too i can't help but notice there's like a top-down approach to this meaning that the conservation commission is asking for help from these folks from trail folks. 
I think it would work much better if it goes the opposite way, meaning that people get together, we do a little bit of marketing, get folks that want to be involved with the trail crew, have them come up with kind of a uh, work with you guys to come up with a, a set of guidelines and a mission statement and so that they can work organically and then push ideas off to you guys for approval. And that's exactly what we did with the River Committee. Exactly. Right from the bottom exactly up. What so I, I think that's an excellent idea because I, I don't want, the thing I don't want is willy nilly trails out there and, and I want to work with the environment and with the wildlife that's out there. I don't want like a ton of trails and then become the mountain back capital of the world. I mean, I don't mind the mountain backs out there. I've always, I walk out there and I've always had good luck not getting run over. I wear bright colors, but, and, um, my just daughter's another way to, to approach it because yeah. otherwise it just becomes a subcommittee and Matt says, Hey, can I use some help? I could use some help this weekend. Yeah. Nobody shows up. I don't, I think it would be more valuable if the trails group comes up with the ideas and pushes them yeah, I do too. their way, yeah. then they have ownership of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you have a much higher, um, likelihood of success. Plus, they can plan things out. You know, get get the map out, figure out where there's. That, well, that's what I want planned. Exactly. Come off one by exactly. one by one. I'm sure that London Day didn't just go out there and start building. They, I'm sure they planned it. Yeah, I, it, you know, I have access to GPS that I can, you know, map anything out there. So yeah, good. You know. So why don't you do that and then come back to our next meeting? with some kind of a framework of a plan and we'll go from there. And you know, Is that a process you have to go through for building bridges or, or you have to go through somebody? We, we can't just. We, we can't, we can't be dredging and filling in wetlands. Yes. We have to be real careful with wetlands. Um, there's permits needed with wetlands, but if we're just going to bridge it over, I don't, I think, you know, the, we're talking about the mucky areas out there. There's really no, like that pond, that beaver pond out there. We're not going to go build no. a bridge over that. No. So. Um, yeah, it's like little wet areas. Yeah. And just there's no other way around it. Right. right. So, so one thing I have, um, my employer has a ton of wood, like in the form of heavy duty pallets that we can use, and they'd be spectacular for this. The only logistical issue is that I ha I don't have like a vehicle or a trailer big enough to get those from London Dairy to here, or yeah, from London Dairy to. And did you find out where they were from those pallets? I did not. <laughs> I have did no you idea. Find where that's that. Out. That, that's important, yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, we have we have to be careful yeah. on pallets, you know, coming out of the country because that's how invasive right. meals and stuff got started. So definitely find that out, and, and those would be a good resource if we can use them. Yeah. So do you like that idea? Come back in October, and or even we could have a special meeting if you get organized before then. But with these elections, I think October yeah. first week. Yeah, first it was to put something together. And first Thursday in October. I can work with these guys on it because we did it for the river committee. But I think the process would be is we just get the word out, see if there's people that are interested. I, I can see that some there are folks that are mountain bikers that might have a heavier interest in the state coast and the town land up there. But I think there are other people that might be more Falls people that just are recreational walkers that might want to get involved as well. Right. And I think we could put the word out and then kind of get that list and then bring that list up yeah. up to you guys yeah. and maybe jot down a couple of bullet notes on what we think the mission would be. And then we can, like the river, we figure it out ourselves. I mean, with Zoom now, we could maybe meet once every month and lay a map out on a table and figure out where there might be projects that we might want to do at some point in time. If you want to you. If you want to email me, you can use that that email that's on the front of the agenda that comes to me. So <clears throat> that would be good. Okay. Great. And then make t-shirts. Make t-shirts, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I will email prison. the board with all of our names and okay. information. Yeah, yeah. Or send it, send it here and I'll, I'll forward it to them. Is that planning at Litchfield? Yeah, Is that, that okay. comes to me. Yeah. Okay. Great. Do you guys have any updates on that Boulder Dash trail? I do. Um, so... The issue with that trail was when I was going out there and doing work is that I noticed the trail went onto private property. Mm -hmm. um, so while the property was in current use, that does not automatically mean that it's open to the public. That mm -hmm. just means that the landowner said, I'm going to keep it in the current condition. Yeah. Um, so I had to kind of um, 
I did get word back from the son of the landowner who said it's okay for people to be out there, so it's back open again. So the t I, I did I told, that have any erosion on that trail? Um, I don't think there was a lot. Um, there's like an old, like a log bridge. I don't know how to describe it. Whether it's, oh, it's oh, like they felled logs over the, the old, stream um, there. Either Stoker. It's not a hundred percent. Snowmobile bridge, probably an old snowmobile. Yeah, bridge. that's what I think it was. You can't get a snowmobile on that trail. Well, and it's, it's pretty from narrow. The 60s. It's tight. <laughs> and they had yeah. trails everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, everywhere. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. Good. Work got grown in. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, with you guys. We'll do a little marketing. Yeah. Yeah. You have Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Jason, do you want to go or do you want to wait? Um, I'll go. I just had a couple of things. That was the primary thing right there. Okay. Um, I just came tonight just to give an update on a few items. Number one, more swells. The I'm within six feet of people. Is this legal? Yeah, you're yeah. good. You're fine. Uh, number one, more swells. The the fence is in 100% complete around around the parking lot. So we're pretty much done there. And the only things that we've really got left are uh, going to get some granite curbing to put like at the front of every single parking spot. And I think that might protect the fence yeah. a little bit and will also help kind of define the parking goes into the side. Um, so that that one is pretty much done. Uh, we got donation of the fence, and then we had a ton of people, including Andy right here, help put in all that, all that stuff. And we used that calendar money for all the cement, all the granite, and things like that. So that worked out pretty well. Um, the sign that's in front of Moore's Falls, we're putting uh, signs that are already made. We're just having a hard time finding pressure-treated lumber to actually be a, a, a post, to some, a, a post that'll go in the ground. Uh, signs will be put in at the Musterfield and Parker Park. So Musterfield might go in this weekend. Parker Park, we got to wait until we see if we so can. So they'd get be the seat. same size as the Moore's Falls sign. Same size but taller. I went 10, 10 foot on that white stuff, that white um, yeah. wrap. post wrap, it's called. Uh, that's going to be ten feet tall. But I think Moore's Falls is like a, a little bit short, but like a little bit higher. Um, Talked about the trails. The last thing is, is last month I came in, we were talking about mowing and maintenance of the properties. And we were kicking around ideas of buying a mower and getting this trails crew together to help maintain some of this. I, I think one thing that seeing it's budget season that you might want to consider, and I'll ask the board to consider, is to maybe write a, an email to the board of selectmen and suggest that Moore's Falls and probably in front of the old town hall and maybe a little bit of Parker Park, um, ask the board of selectmen if they would consider the highway department to maintain that during the, the summertime. And, and that piece north of the library. And the piece north of the library. Yeah. Um, that could get the ball rolling to maybe help them get a, a summer kid, I'm not talking about new employee or anything like that, but maybe to get uh, an additional summer kid just to help out with the maintenance during the summertime. Well, and I, I think that's one avenue to take. said um, to the Recreation Commission today or to Andy Collins that we heard they might be buying a mower to see if they would be interested in taking care of, or mowing some of our town properties. But the highway department's a good idea, too, to, to the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as we know with the the equipment, like the, the DR mower, is people will use them. I think you might have used, you said, hundreds of hours, and then it sat for five, ten years. And But if you put it on the, the highway department, maybe they can maintain it. But you can't put it on it unless they have the staff to be able to do it. So to even start the process of maybe getting a, a summer kid, then you need to at least go to them and say, hey, we have this need. Yeah. Is this something that you would consider? And I think if the recreation does it too, because they're paying a lot of money for a person to mow properties. And there are pieces like the river and around talent hall and in front of the tennis courts 
that I'm sure these professional turf people could, you know, might not be bothered with doing doing that stuff. It might be something that will save the town money by yeah. having the highway department yeah. do it. Okay. So I think that starting, from what I'm told, is starting that process really involves a, an email from you guys saying, would you consider? And I'll send them a letter. So yes, it might be worth it. Okay. And that's all I have. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yep. Great job on the fence. That looks really good. Like over the years, like you can see a huge difference in the. I had a guy stop by um, about a week ago when we were putting in the final post and he said, I've been driving by this for the last six months and seeing like little bits of progress every single time. And he goes, three years ago, you didn't even notice this place going by. And it was just a sand lot. And between the work, the uh, volunteer work that a company did in town, cleaning up the lot and putting yeah. quasi pavement down in there and the fencing, it's really kind of like a destination now. And now it's, you go down there and it's full. Oh yeah, yeah almost every on the day. Side of the road. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Like I'm concerned, the parking lot is almost might be too small. Yeah. Is. Last time I was there, there were people parking out on three A. Yeah, because so I, I texted you one day. You need the police out there on Sunday morning. Yeah. The parking lot. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's getting super crowded, and that's not even including the people that go in from St. Francis. Yeah. That's a ton right. of people going from that entrance too. Yeah. So. Mm, interesting. Um, probably, and I having been down there for a hundred hours putting in fence posts. I do notice just about everybody walks up. A lot of them are first timers. They walk up to the kiosk and they say, where's the map? So we got to get a map. Mm -hmm. We had a map. A map in there. It was kind of a, it was, it was, there was too many fonts used on the map is all I can say. But we did have a map. To I can out. take care of that. I can take care of it temporarily by coming up with something and then printing it on Tyvek. And then, um, like we did with the river access, I can have a map printed on a sign. It's actually superimposed onto the sign, and then yeah. we'll bolt it on there. Okay. We also need some signs on the trail, too. For what? For what kind of signs? This way. and. Uh, well, if you had a sign at the kiosk, I mean, that would be pretty self-explanatory. Okay. It's, you know, go down I've go been away. there, and people ask me, well, how do you get to the falls? <laughs> and I said, <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Well, it is a good point because yeah. most of them just follow the path and end up in a way from it. Yeah, yeah. Old field. There's, there's definitely a little bit of uh, bushwhacking going on down by the river because I've seen there's a newer trail forming that just kind of goes straight down the bank there, like yeah. right onto the river. I don't know how people are not falling in the river, but they're. Uh, Definitely exploring out there. It's a lot of new new people. You know, when we get the map, or when it gets the map to put up at that kiosk, that kiosk needs help. It does? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a little I mean, lift-up thing there that I think yeah. at one point in time you could take a pamphlet out. Right. That probably needs to go. There's dog bags in there. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I found that out the hard way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that needs yeah, to go. Yeah, the right. doors are... Jammed and the, the hinges are it's very difficult. Almost fell off. We'll, we'll remove that little. We'll take yeah. care of a, a a map, and then I want to also talk to Matt about. I can get some benches and maybe a couple of spots along the trail overlooking the river. We can sink a couple of benches down there, okay. where some people can sit and chill out and look at the. Who put the benches balls. at um at the river landing? We did. Those are nice. Yeah, they look pretty nice. And they were maybe. They're sturdy. They're, oh, yeah, they're nice. cemented in the ground, like three feet yeah. into the ground. Nice. Yeah. If you bring me a list of, of uh, the names of the trails that you want marked, I'm pretty handy with a with a router. I can mm. make you signs. Sure. Yeah. You can do that. Give me a list with, with the proper spelling because people have ideas, different mm -hmm. ideas on how what things are spelled at what you want on there and and i can make you up a prototype and show you what what i what i can do and i can make signs through the winter okay matt i'll pdf you a file i'll just do a quick map and i'll pdf you a file of that mm -hmm. and i think if you just kind of stick a dot on the map and then write what you want the sign to say then you can kind of like um, lay it out. Well, did I, I think I sent over to everyone, you know, the signs that Londonderry has in Musquash, they sent that over to me, like how to make the sign and everything. So maybe we could, 
you know, potentially if we go down the route of like printing it on like. Well, they've a, got the whole sign. GPS coordinates and everything. On it. Yeah, but but we that. can completely customize yeah. that. <laughs> it's, that. We don't have to go that far, but I'm saying we have the template. I would take so step can, one and do the router yeah, first. We can right. path of least resistance, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, that's it there. Okay. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, right and early, 8.30. Don't forget to do your little survey before you... 90 minutes before. Yep. <laughs> then I guess I was going to just take a picture of the check mark because I'm not going to bring my the whole Chromebook with me. I can't print anything. Oh, okay. I get you. I don't know if he really needs to see it, but we'll try. Okay. I see it. All right. No, I see it. I have um, the key to the dog um, pouches. Yeah. You said there was one in the shed. I think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll go look again. There's a lot of stuff in there now. Well, I'll give you a box of the bags. Cause I, I have the key. I can run over there on my way to work tomorrow. I, I don't it's the keys. They're in my car. Don't let me forget to give them to you. Key's very finicky. Okay, we haven't done a cleanup day this year. By the school is really nasty looking. Um, is anybody interested on a calendar? Anybody interested in a cleanup day? Or you think it's? Is it going to be on? I think we need. What day is it going to be on? We need. We need to consider the fact that the brush is five feet high all the way up to the. Well, program. not by the school after they sprayed whatever they sprayed on it. And I oh, tried it's good to stuff, find, yeah. I tried to find out what it was that close to the river. Agent Orange is not a problem. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, DDC probably. Um, well, whatever day we do it, we do it in the morning, not if not at night. No, we have to do it in the morning, and probably a weekend. Well, it has to be a weekend, I guess. Um, what are we thinking? Are we thinking we want to do this or what do we want to do? I, I mean, we're not going to walk day. into mm -hmm. the, we're not going to, just what's on the edge, not going to walk in far. Step right up. My dad, my dad. I don't have Nathan yet. You don't? Okay, I'll get you one. Name plate. Yeah, we are. We are. Mm -hmm. yourself. Okay, so back to cleanup day on three A. We do three. We do between Hillcrest and Pinecrest. Um, Tom usually does from from Hillcrest up, so we don't have to go all the way to Hillcrest. Are we interested in doing this with the pandemic situation? What do we want to do? I mean, it's outside. You had concerns around the school, so I mean that that area there maybe should be addressed. I mean, if it's, if it's crappy down there, but like I said before, the brush is so high all the way out to the road. I mean, I I walk on part of three A every morning, and I mean I have to go out into the road to get around the the, the grass that's growing out, the not the well, grass but the weeds. I was looking at the, I was looking at um, the part by the school. We definitely would need like three or four people because that on, the curve. on that curve. Mm -hmm. Michael did it one time alone, which I did not want to happen. You're still here. Oh, well, He's still here. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> hey, curve. can I take this off? We don't have to wear it. Sure, you're six feet apart. Well, you're six feet apart. Okay. Um, so, you know, we could do from the town hall, say, to up to the school. To Pinecrest, yeah. To Pinecrest. Mm -hmm. I'll help the game. Um, what, we need a date. You want to do it on a Saturday, Saturday morning. That's fine with me. Can't do this Saturday morning. Uh, no, I, can't. I can't either. Saturday is a kind of big. Is that this year's calendar? Yeah. yeah. It's 2020. Yeah. Okay. It's too far it's, away to see. Um, it's shiny. Hey, I can't do any September. <laughs> so you have the week of the 12th, weekend of the 12th, 19, 19 26, and then you go into October. We did it kind of late because you made your husband made those pumpkin muffins. They were pretty good. Is he going to do that pumpkin again? Pumpkin will be pies. <laughs> I'll get you there. What about October third? It's my birthday. Really? Picking up trash on my birthday. Okay. <laughs> October third sounds good. Yeah, I can do it. Mm. What time? Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back at the library. Yeah, park at the, the library. library. <laughs> library might be open by then. <laughs> no, don't park at the library. Park at the fire, <laughs> no fire station. <laughs> Inside joke. Okay, trail work on the white lot. Um, I went out there, took a wrong turn, so I walked an extra couple of miles, but that was fine. Um, looks good. Matt has rerouted the first mucky spot. 
looks pretty dry. Then what about the second spot? Second spot I also rerouted. It's That's a bigger section. And I got some feedback from a couple mountain bikers that were not happy with the way the reroute reconnected with the trail because you kind of come down a hill and that trail as originally was is kind of relatively straight, not too many abrupt turns. But with the reroute, there's kind of an abrupt turn where it gets back on the trail and they're not too happy with that. If you have to come up and down the hill. And plus and, that might cause more erosion too. If it's yeah. Like that. Um, so I might go fix that this weekend, you know, plot out a viable course to kind of reconnect up there. So it's a little bit smoother. It's not so, okay. not so wild coming down. Okay. All right. Um, and Matt's been working on the, Blackbird crossing Blackbird Lane. Yeah. Um, so I finally made it through the dense wall of trees in there, and now it's actually pretty sparse. Hmm. Like the extent of the trail work there is largely by rake. I'm not going to have to cut a lot of stuff. It is that open, but it's re it's really beautiful out there. Yeah. Um, I also think we need to name it because it's getting really exhausting to call the property across from Blackbird Lane. <laughs> or, and like, you know, we have to compare it next to something it's next to instead of having a name. So I was thinking of kind of leaving it up to public input because I, I saw uh, Buscowan uh, Conservation Commission just acquired a new property and they're putting out a public poll so that people can, you know, put out what kind of name they want to and then they, people can kind of decide what they want to name the property. Eagle Swamp. I saw an eagle out there one time. Some, something cool, because naming it after the road it's on is just kind of... Although it's blueberry. It could be blueberry jam. It's, yeah. it, it needs it's to be. Ex we need something exciting there. <laughs> and Matt also clean. I went down to um, Parker Park today. Did you, you widen that out in the beginning there? So uh, like doing? before that little footbridge? Yeah. So that's... I think the highway department's doing that, because when I was the third oh, yeah. guy in the highway department, I would mow that. That's... Did, was it too wide, Joan? Because I went down to Moores Falls. No, um, I'm talking about Parker Park. Yeah, but I went down to Moores Falls, and someone had um, somebody mowed there. Somebody mowed there, and they took out. Um, we used to have these beautiful wilds, like orchids and stuff like that, and they went way far um, and took out all these out. We need to be careful that we're not losing the personality of the properties by improving. Yeah, that was I'm not, I'm a volunteer sure. that kind of didn't let us know what he was doing. Oh, okay. Both of them, or, or the one I was? No, the Morse Falls. Okay. I hope it comes back. Yeah, they, they should. It's like out here, they, they mowed everything down, and then the root stuck still there, so it came up, and they mowed it down again. Who wants the machine? Cotton metal's the machine. Yeah. Um, anything else on trail work? Uh, I cleaned up down at Morse Falls, still pulling out a lot of glass, but it's finally starting to get a little cleaner. But as the river comes up, I don't know what's going to be coming our way there yeah. in terms of it's other trash and debris that stuff. comes. Yeah. I went with two big bags, Matt, and I was so impressed. There yeah. was no trash. Yeah. There's, no uh, trash. I picked up four or five little pieces of glass Yeah. Um, and no trash. People are pretty well behaved. I haven't seen as much trash. It was, it was a little bad earlier a couple months ago, but it's gotten a lot better now. I went down to the river access today and picked up a few things. It was this big chunk of rusty, whatever it was, some part of a car, I guess. But I think that's, if, you know, if we that use it, keep walking around with our bags, things will be fine. You know, mm -hmm. you know people won't see trash. They won't leave trash, that's hopefully. Right. Okay, the budget. We still have 373. Matt actually got two chainsaws from the highway department. Oh. We need new chains. They need new chains because otherwise they're going to be they're going to be used to uh, start fires. <laughs> they're going to what? They're going to they're a little too dull, so there's a lot of friction and smoking. Just just by yeah. new, two but, new chains. So by yeah, new, yeah, new chains out of that. So Definitely before before that. I get out there right. and start using them now. So the we chain. didn't have to buy the ones that were in no. that we approved last month. What about and the weed whacker? So I haven't looked at the weed whacker. I yet, thought now also, what went out to get repaired to stills. So the uh, that we was can take the, that off because I can't hear you that well. The steel, the steel chainsaw and the pole saw. Highway took them. The stills, yeah. To be re to be repaired, so I told them save the receipts and we'll we'll pay okay. for that. All right, that's good. our deal. So um, even, but go, but definitely get the new chains because we have that other three hundred dollars too. So mm -hmm. do that. Send a bill. Send a bill in. Okay, the next one's going to take a little bit of explaining. <laughs> And pass this down to Diane so she has it for the minutes, please. I need a pen, too, guys. Anybody got a pen? There's a, pen. There's a minute down. Here. 
Thank you so much. By the way, that's my pen, and I expect it back. <laughs> After it's sanitized. Put ink back in it. No. Yes. <laughs> Okay. It was a gift from somebody, so I, I want to buy I'll make it. sure it's really nice. It feels nice in my hand. <laughs> Just hang around in this room and pick up a lot of nice pens here. So I had a call from Vinton Thompson. He's up in Wanalancet, New Hampshire, up near Tamworth. But he is a retired... Um, what is he? Retired... Professor biologist with the um, Museum of Natural History in New York City. Uh, do I have this right? I think I do. Anyway, he was looking for spittle bugs of all things, and he stopped. and He needed alders, so that's why I hope the alders didn't get chopped down down there at Morris Falls. So he did find what he was looking for at Morris Falls. Um, he went back recently and and found the type of thing he was looking for. Um, and then there's these flies that lay, lay eggs in the spittle bug masses. I don't know what all this research gets to. <laughs> but, what does he want? Sounds pretty buggy. But to what he's going to do next year, and I said it was fine with me, so if anybody has an objection, let me know. He's going to come down next year and put like these sock things over the alders to capture the spittle bugs and the, I guess, and the flies. And then they do some whatever research they're doing. This sleeves is the sleeves are conspicuous. Uh, I said the Morris Falls site has abundant alders with s abundant spittle bugs. The flies are definitely present in some spittles, although it is not yet clear how abundant they are. The one downside of the site is that the alders are in a highly trafficked area along the path leading down to the parking lot to the old trolley line and the river. Sleeves are conspicuous, what's that sort of item, and I would have to think carefully about placement to minimize unintentional or intentional damage to them while they are in place, which would be a few weeks at a time. I should add that none of this work is harmful to the alders and that mo the most equipment brought in for the work would be step ladders to reach higher branches, also one way to get the sleeves out of harm's way. Um, so I told them, sure, sounds like a great, great plan. So this spittle bug is—is is it a harm invasive species? Is it a? Um, uh, that's what I'm trying to read here. Something about parrot. The spittle bugs live on alders. Parasite to the spittle bug. The fly is the spittle bugs live on alders and to a much less extent birches. Immature spittle bugs ingest alder sap. Like all spittle bugs, they incorporate bubbles as a six sticky substance into sap and that has passed through their digestive tract. This forms a foamy, gooey mass that looks like someone spit on the plant. I mean, we've all seen these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The immature spittle bugs live inside the spittle masses. The adults also live on alders and suck sap, but do not make spittle masses. The flies lay eggs in the spittle masses, and their larvae live in them in side by side with the immature spittle bugs. It's unclear whether the fly larvae parasite the immature spittle bugs are simply take advantage of the spittle habitat as a place to live and eat bacteria growing in the spittle masses. Working in collaboration with my museum colleague, Dr. David Grimaldi, I would like to investigate the relationship between the flies and the spittle bugs, hoping to find evidence for or against the hypothesis that the flies actively parasite, parasite the, the spittle bugs. In part, this would involve taking samples of spittle bugs that are- Still doesn't say why. <laughs> not associated with fly larvae to see if the spittle bugs associate with, you know, it's, it's study of the, the spittle bugs and the fly larvae, right. so I can tell you. Yeah. So. He says, this is very simple work and involves going through spittle masses ha by hand with a hand lens and collecting samples for comparison. Another approach would involve manipulating fly larvae and spittle bugs to load up individual spittle bugs with multiple larvae to see the effects of the spittle bugs. And that would involve sleeving the tips of the branches with light cloth tubes, tying the ends to keep track of the spittle bugs and flies. Sounds like a dateline show. <laughs> well, body, how long the body's been there? How long does yeah. Exactly. What's, what's your question? So. I see no harm. It looks like he's promising a slideshow after. That would be fun. He's a division of invertebrate for zoology, American Museum of Natural History. Well, doesn't look like he's going to harm so anything. What he's going to do is go down yeah. and collect spittle Bugs. Well, and then sleeve them, sleeve, no, sleeve the spittle bugs and the flies to see what the relationship is.
between them and all. It won't affect the trees no. or. I see no problem. I see no problem. Cool, actually, I mean, yeah, it does. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I was impressed that we had you know enough site that would work for them. So I said, yeah, you should go for it. And, you know, they can always put a sign up to say, you know, please don't touch these. It's, research it's a area. research. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. would be my concern. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. On that note, I think that we, whenever we're, there's like a project or something going on, we need to communicate more that we're that something that something's going on on the property. Because when I was doing trail work out there, people had no idea what was going on. Like they saw the tape, like closing stuff down and seeing reroutes. It's like I don't know what this is. I'm so, seen. I'm seen. so yeah, I think. Uh, okay, I mean, should, sounds cool. Sounds like a cool. As long as it doesn't come up with another virus or some weird disease. Um, that top of that parcel, I have to look at. I forgot to look at the um, agreement with Fish and Game. I might, I might have to look at Fish and Game now, but that's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Notify him that we. It's okay. I already told him it was okay. <laughs> Okay. That's, that's history. <laughs> she's, she's just, just, she's just keeping us informed. Yeah. Okay. So if we see him, somebody out there collecting spittle, we don't know who he is. <laughs> I said so that's he, mine. He said he would when he comes that's down. Which field spittle? <laughs> I, I would be interesting to see, you know, what the interest is with these, you know, the whole. Apparently, he has to. He's going to tell us why later. She's going to show us the bugs. At some point to tell you this sh to show did, you. Did the mayor of New York City approve this? <laughs> I, I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the LWCF grant is going to be the death of me. Um, all claws now. <laughs> I did send in to the um, Natural Heritage Inventory. They sent. I might have made the map a little bit too big or something because they thought I'm going into Grassy Pond, which I'm not. So I have to call them back. But they did. We did get a hit on. Of course, there's all kinds of rare species right around that area, so it came back with a hit. Tomorrow morning, Jason and I are going out with Matt Tarr from UNH Wildlife Specialist on that property because part of the grant you had to have somebody take a look at it. So he would be an excellent person to take a look at it and see what he thinks about when, it. What Which time property? are you going to do that? The, um, this is the Jefferson property off of Albuquerque. Oh, okay. Tomorrow morning, eight thirty. Where are you meeting? Town hall. Were you interested in going? Because you have to fill out a form before you go. Going to the new one. Um, um, can I fill it out when I get here? Uh, it's an online form. I can send it to you. Okay. Send Is it a form. permission slip? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have my mother sign like it? Principal. UNH permission <laughs> slip. <laughs> permission oh, me. boy. Attorney review. Some things don't change. <laughs> Okay, my my additional comments down here that I added. Um, park. So I was looking for information for Parker Park for Matt because he's going to do a little. I guess something in the is it in the what's up? It's LCTV. LCTV I think is, is like start, try and start a HLN page like. Yes. Huh. Rob Faye's uh, proposed putting together an online newspaper. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. okay. So work has just gotten started on that. And, uh, one of the so as I was looking up information, I knew that the um, the Parkers had donated that land, so I had a little bit of information. I ran across park rules that were adopted in in uh, two thousand one by the Selectmen and the Recreation Commission. Because remember, we were always going to work on park rules. <laughs> we have already got them. They're already there. We know it. You kidding? Use a little cubby hole past way to where he. Okay. Is that for everybody? Or yeah, I think so. Two. Three. If you pass it through here, does it sanitize it? Yeah. Yeah, automatically. It's, it's ultraviolet light. Oh, okay. Four. And I should want to buy your paper. Pass it through this ultraviolet light. So that pretty much. I didn't. Get a chance to say, read the whole thing, but it looks pretty comprehensive. Hmm. This is a uh, recreation. Recreation and, and selectmen approved it for it says for parklands, right in the front of it. I just didn't say one for me. Did I? No. Uh, well, it's got penalties. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no! 
Just or any other. Yeah, let's share your cost structure. That would cover us. It would be easy if we just merge the two agencies again. <laughs> no, I don't think we used conservation. to be because yeah. I was thinking that way, there, there's way back that, in the beginning. That's how we started. It was the Recreation Conservation Commission. I didn't know that. Like in the 60s or something like that. Behavior. No gambling. Behavior. No games of chance. No alcohol, <laughs> beverages. Unless we ask, Rick. Um, that walk tomorrow is going to be a lot of bushwhacking. By the way, it's it's not easy, Diane. Hmm? That walk tomorrow is not an easy. Task. Right, I'm pretty. I'm back. Pretty back in shape. Okay. I'll send you that tonight. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try and see how I do. Whoever came up with this, they definitely. Um, we're enforcement conscious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's we pretty consistent because I, I remember when we were thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> this is multiple pages, but it's pretty similar to what other towns have that I've seen. So, yeah. but <laughs> I, I gave one to Troy today. He said he 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 thinks he had seen it, but I don't, is anybody enforcing all this? No. Hmm. <laughs> I hope not. Nobody enforces anything in town. <laughs> I think it's up to us. That's right. <laughs> We're all going to get badges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we can't have a card game down there. <laughs> Forget about comedy night. Chance. <laughs> so that was this just was for back your in two thousand and one. Yeah, it was adopted. Never rescinded. Mm. I don't they think don't so. Know. Yeah. Was this nineteen twenty? Pretty comprehensive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moving right along, I did um, send to. Um, Recreation Commission today to talk about see if they'll do a joint meeting with us and talk about a mower. And does the Recreation Commission have any interest in hiring someone out for this mowing? But I think um, Jason's right to talk about the highway idea. department. I think it's a better idea with the highway department. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Like, if we can share resources mm -hmm. and work with other town agencies without having to spend more money, like hey, can we borrow highway department's chainsaw? Or, hey, we need to borrow the ATV for something. It's like it's, we're oh, keeping it all in the, we're working together. Yeah, on kind of hard to keep track of, like, the small equipment, who's got it. But, you know, they need to have true. a sign-out or whatever, sign-out sheet. You like, like the ATV, something. that's good to be using it for others. Now, did your permit run out for the state forest yet? Runs out on October 1st. It was good for exactly two months. Okay. I still yeah, got it. Hurry up. And I have to uh, I have to present it upon command. And like pretty much anybody can ask me, like, hey, what are you doing out here? And I have to oh, present the, the permit, which I have no problem doing. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, good. I was out there the other morning. And I forget what, what time. But it was nice to see a father and a little kid on a bike on the, that smooth trail. So people are really out there on, on the State Forest Trail. People are using it. Okay, that's direct commission, chainsaws, uh, rainfall, rainfall, rainfall report. report. you have any rain? Any rain? Well. We're missed. We need three months. Yes, longer. and I brought three months. <laughs> <laughs> For the month of June, we had 4.5 inches of rain. And, you know, I was looking back through my records, and uh, in 2019, June of 2019, we had 12.7 wow. inches that month. Wow. In 2018, we had eight inches, and then 17, we had 8.20. So, you know, all right. So, July, we had 6.10 inches of rain. And again, I was looking through my records in 2019, we had 11.8 inches of rain. Mm. So, you know, it really varies mm. three times. Um, and in August, August, we only had 4.3 inches of rain. And poor corn. That's right. And all the other crops, too. Yeah. And if, if you go back through the records, uh, 2019, we had 7.6. And in 2018, we had 15.8 inches. Mm. So, you know, it's pretty variable. There's not a lot of ticks out there, though, and that's why. Yeah. yeah. Or mosquitoes. Uh, you know, I... I walk in the woods all the time, and 
I, I guess uh, somebody reported there was a case of encephalitis in the state. And uh, they found a mosquito that carries them so yeah. yeah, but it's probably since it's been raining, maybe that yeah, it's finally that's hatching. What they said. Yeah. yeah. But we have walking out through the, the state forest over here. It is incredible how the, the, some of the what used to be ponds or whatever bone dry. Yeah, that big pond is is real is all dry. Angry Beaver Pond or something or other is, is that dry? It's bone dry. Yeah, and Morse Falls, that stream that runs through there. It, yeah. yeah, it was completely dry. I, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe the you river. Could, you could almost walk in yeah, and touch the river Old Hildreth. Very dry. That low. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. but like it's, it's not what it's supposed to be doing. So we have August 6th minute meeting minutes to approve. Yeah. Oh yeah, where is Jeff? That's a good question. I think he's back at school. No, Jack Pinciaro. Oh. <laughs> other Jack. The other Jack. I saw Jack yesterday. So he's gonna be here tonight. I mean Jack. Oh, I, I printed out the um, the Conservation Commission inspection report, one for everybody, too. Oh, because John had sent that out. So, uh, yeah, I got a, I think my email might have got hacked. I have to talk to John Brunel. I didn't reply to it, so. I'm sure you said that All these trees are dying. Yeah. Gotcha. Got that chainsaw. Yeah. Do you see the average cost of a house is going up sixteen thousand dollars because of the shortage of wood? Well, he said couldn't get pressure treated for that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw that on the news too. The pressure treated was like non-existent. COVID related. That's what they say because people have the companies that make stuff have scaled back workers and everything. So these are the August 6th minutes. I made a few changes before I printed them, which was Inky. good. Get them early. And um, make a motion we take uh, accept the August. I'll second. Anybody have any discussion on August minutes? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, zero. If you just put on there, the, um, like I have under the heading minutes approved on, and then we put the date in. Today's what, nine, three? Wait, wait, where does it say that? Right at the, the third line, the fourth line down on the top. Okay. You ready? And then put who's absent too. So for like this this meeting, whoever's absent. Anything else? Um, if he comes up with a map to go up the Moors Falls, okay. Do we we need a new lock on there, okay? And is he gonna fix the kiosk up there? No, that probably was not. Mentioned. No. no, I I. Probably can get help to get that box off there. That's what's the problem. Well, with that box. not that much of the box. It's when you open up the doors, they're ready to fall apart. Because that was one of the things that I thought we were going to do with the kids. But yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that definitely needs to be repaired. And I hate to. And I mean, if he's going to go through, if you guys are going to go through and put a nice map up there. Well, let me put it this way: Are you volunteering? <laughs> What, to, to fix it? the doors? Yeah. Sure. Okay, it's in the minutes. You get that? I, I do. We've discussed this a few times. Whatever okay. you can do, you just send me the bill. That's all. Yeah, we're willing to do it. Because we don't have any, I don't know what's going to be coming down with kid prod, you know, the sophomores and senior projects. We'll have to wait and see. We could advertise and say, hey, we're looking for people if anyone has a project they're interested in yeah but those those doors probably need to be fixed sooner than later so like you say especially he's going to put a nice map up there you know, you know the other thing too we sort of go back and repair uh parker kiosk too what's the matter with that well oh because it didn't line up it right. didn't line up and the oh. doors don't won't close 
I don't know if we get those guys back to fix it or not. You have the contact. <laughs> I think we'll just leave it along with those yeah, folks. I, I think so, too. It's, the dog is sleeping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Trouble being old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, anything else, anybody? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Seven. Opposed? 50. Opposed? No. Stay. <laughs> Did you, did you? I was talking to Matt. Is there something going on in the uh, Richfield Forest?